The way I like to think about movement and yoga is more for functional, focus, strength, and stability. We want the mix of yin to the yang. And so I'm going to be using some of the gross functional movement patterns so that you can increase functional focus, strength, and of course, flexibility so that you can move with ease and really work towards having a strong and flexible body. And then have, of course, mental focus as well. So come to the top of the mat. It's gonna be a short class, 30 minutes today, but it's gonna go super fast. So let's go to the top of the mat and let's just warm up. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward with a slight bend in the knee. And exhale. Inhale, strong lift of your chest, gaze forward, palms flat, right foot back. Lower the right knee. Inhale your arms up and bring your hands to interlace behind you. Open up your chest. Inhale and exhale. Hands on either side of the left foot. Tuck your right toes. Come high, lift your right knees and bring your right foot next to the left. Strong lift of your chest forward. Exhale, fold and palms flat. Bring your left foot way back. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, puff up your chest, stretch into the left hip, but be very gentle. And exhale, hands on either side of the right foot and left. And we're just gonna dangle here on opposite hand, opposite elbow, say yes. And shake your head no. Breathe and allow your low back to release and see if you can breathe your knees straight. Breathing, finding your breath, finding your control. And then drape your arms down and come all the way up. Inhale, arms up overhead. And sink your hips. And come up all the way. But slight back bend and exhale, palms to the mat. Inhale, strong lift of your chest forward, palms flat. Right foot back, left foot back. Lower your knees and slowly keeping your elbows by your side, come up and shift back. Child pose and shake your hips, shimmy, shimmy your hips side to side. Breathe, three, two, and one. Round your spine, tuck your toes, lift your hips. No, Zoe, go away. Mm -mm. Breathe, mommy can't play. Sink your heel, opposite heel down at a time. Ah, uh ah, -uh. no. No. Three. Three. Two. And one. We're gonna gaze forward, right foot forward, left foot. Inhale, strong lift of your chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and bring your hands to heart center. So let's look down at our feet and make sure that your feet is a shoulder width apart, okay? And you can keep your hands wherever. I'm just gonna choose to keep them right in front of my chest. And I'm going to sink my hips down. I wanna keep my ankles right under my knees and my hips are going way back. Let me show you the side angle. Down and up, all the way up. We're gonna do 10 of those. Two, keep your toes lifted and back. Yes, it should be painful. Three, and back up. And four, and up. Five, and up, six, and up. Keep your chest forward, head up, 
and down and up eight and up nine and up and ten hold three two and one hands flat lift your hips up and alternate bending your side bending your knee side to side and breathe three two and one right hand at the center under the chest and you can keep your right knee bend bend as you open up to the left side breathe three two one and lower down and bend your left knee reach the right arm up one two and three and back down and stay here belly to thigh contact shake your head yes shake it no and breathe three two and one and slowly drape all the way up your spine all the way up inhale your arms up overhead exhale fold forward comes to the mat inhale strong lift of your chest and exhale left leg is going to reach way back into high lunge so i want you to root down through your right foot and start to have and find your balance here and have your hands at heart center and we're gonna go twist to the right using your obliques exhale and inhale exhale a little bit of focus here root down through the left toes and right foot three and back four and back five and back six and back seven and back and eight and back and nine and back and ten and back and let's turn your back foot in slightly keep your right foot forward arms out warrior warrior two breathe right knee bend and come really pull the navel to the spine arms out stretch two three four five six seven and eight and stay down and see if you can bring your right elbow down onto your right knee but don't dump the weight onto this elbow lift your left arm up and over open up your chest and see if you can lower your hips using the right thighs yes if the right thigh isn't burning you're not doing it correctly breathe five four three two and one left hand down right hand down right foot back lower your knees reach down slow pull up and sink back childs tuck your toes lift your hips downward dog and breathe three bending your knees and let this downward dog feel good really push the floor away with all my fingers and breathe three Strong lift of your chest, gaze forward. Exhale, fold and breathe. 
three, two, and one. Come up nice and slow. Raise your arms up overhead. And exhale, fold forward, pulse to the back. This time, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, right foot back. High lunge, really root down through the left foot and come up. Warrior one, ready? High crescent lunge, ready? Breathe. And at your heart center, twist to the left. One, two, three, four, parallel to the slide edge of the mat, arms out stretched, warrior two, gazing forward, bend into the left knee, strong straighten, two, three, your weight. Lift your right arm up overhead and breathe. Breathe five, four, three, two, and one. Right hand down, left hand down. Take your left foot back. Lower your knees. Down slow with the elbows. Push down and lift, and come all the way down on your belly, and bend your left knee. Well, let's stay propped on our elbows. Bend your left knee. See if you can grab a hold of the left foot and pull it down as much as possible. And if this range is not available to you, I want you to use a strap or do the best you can to pull it down. If you use a strap, you're gonna pull it towards you, right? Just hook the strap around the top of your foot and pull it. And you should really engage, thread the ribs down to engage your core. Three, two, and one, lower down. Same thing, bend your right knee, bring your right hand back and pull it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Stack your hands, pull it down. Right leg up, bend your knee, flex your ankle. Let's lift it up one. Two, isolated at your right glute heel. Three, nothing else moves. Imagine if there is a spider by tucking your tailbone under, lengthening the low back, you can really feel or create the space under your belly. And that's going to allow you to isolate it into your right glute heels or buttocks. Let's give it some lift. Nine. And 10, hold, and lower the knee, straighten the legs, and breathe, bend your left knee, and then flex at the ankle, left ankle, tuck your tailbone, create space under the belly button, 
lift your knee and take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold five, four, three. Keep your heels together, toes slightly out. See if you can really pretend like you're squeezing the two knees together. Bend at the knees, and then lift at the knees, and then lift up. One, two, create squeeze under the belly. This might create a little bit more tension in the low back, and if you're feeling this in the low back, please tuck your tailbone. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and lower. Hands down, come up, kind of like the upward dog, uh, inverting. Three, two, and one. Push yourself back, child's pose. That should feel really, really good. Shimmy your hip side to side and through three, two, and one. Hands down, round your spine, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. One last little power punch. We're going to do downward dog squats. Before we do, let's just really stretch into our downward dog. Push all five fingertips down and away. You're pushing the floor away. Do not allow the shoulders to come close to your ears. Pull them away from your ears. Gazing forward, we're gonna shift slightly forward. Lower the knees and take it back. One, lower the knees. Two, and take it back. Three, take it back. Exhale, four, take it back. Exhale, five, take it back. Exhale, six, take it back. Exhale, seven, take it back. Exhale, eight, take it back. Exhale, nine, take it back. And exhale, and ten, and breathe, five, four, three, goes up, nice and tight, high, bend at the knee, gazing forward, let's lower it down, or right foot between your hands, lower the right knee, or left knee down, and then really shimmy the right foot towards the left wrist, and open up into the right hip, almost a pigeon, but we're sort of guiding it, so it's not so severe but very gentle and wiggle your hips side to side and breathe. Five, four, Also, an alternate way to do this on the back with your left knee bent, left foot flat, bringing your right ankle on top of the left knee, 
and pulling the left knee up towards your chest to create this on your back as well. I've shown you that many, many times. We're gonna see if we can relax over this. Yep. Three. Finding your breath to stretch into your hips and breathe. And maybe even find yourself coming down on your elbows. Breathe. Three. to downward dog. Tuck your right toes, take it up, downward dog. Let's really sink one heel down at a time, finding our best downward dog. Three, two, and one. I'm going to sit facing you. And this time we're gonna do what's called a fire log. So let's keep our right knee down and then stack the right shin on top. And it's gonna be really tight in the beginning. And you just kind of hang out here and see if you can find more um, flexibility into this. If it's unavailable to you, it's fine. You wanna keep the knee a little wider and bring your left foot forward and you're just going to kind of hinge forward from here but you're going to hinge forward from your hips okay those of you who do have the flexibility and breathe three remember you need mental focus physical focus emotional focus to have mental strength to show up on the mat as well as emotional strength and of course physical strength and then same thing for flexibility unless we're fluid if we're so rigid things break right like a bamboo tree you want to kind of go and sway be able to be flexible with whatever the world throws at you always remembering that circumstances never or we never live at the uh, mercy of our circumstances that we create what we think what we feel and what we're going to do about it right action to create the results okay. so towards the knee side i want you to lean forward and see if you can reach 
and breathe into the right hip. Three, two, one. Walk your hands forward and maybe even take a breath or two at the center. And then walk your hands over to the right, reaching and breathing towards the foot side. Three, two, We're going to do the exact opposite this time. Left knee down, right shin on top, sitting up nice and tall, free. You might want to kind of wiggle your way or even place a block under your sits bones to raise up your uh, pelvis a bit to create more space for you. And then go forward and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's go towards the knee side and reach and breathe. And make sure that both sit bones are rooted down on the mat to ground you. Three, two, and one. Walk it across. And maybe take a breath or two at the center. Two. And one. We have plenty of fighting left. And then walking your hands toward the foot side and maybe sinking down into the right hip. Three. Two. And one. And come back. And back. Let's stretch out the right leg. Draw the left heel in towards your pubic bone, sitting up nice and tall. Okay, we're gonna rotate over to the left side. Bring your right arm down. Lift your left arm up and over. Really root down through the left hip to feel this stretch in the left side of the torso. Five, four, Three, two, one. Come all the way up. I'm going to keep my chest towards the right leg and lead with my chest and pull over as much as you can. For five, rooting down through the left hip. And if you can't go as much as I can go, do what feels comfortable. Learn to listen to your body. Three. Bring your right knee in, left leg up, sitting up nice and tall, rotate over to the right, and left hand down, lift your right arm up and over and breathe. For five, breathing down through the right hip this time, four, three, two, one. Take it up, rotate over to the left side, and go forward and breathe. Belly time, my kitty girl. Pretty girl. Three. Two. Up the right leg, sitting up nice and tall, rock your pelvis forward and back, forward and back. Bring your knees and feet together, sitting in Bhadrapada Konasana if this is available to you. If not, no worries. Sit comfortably, sitting up nice and tall. Maybe just easy Sukhasana, close your eyes. Bring your thumb and index together, palm side up. Rest the back side of your hands on your knees. Focus, just strength and flexibility. A 
always measuring yourself against who you were yesterday as opposed to seeking things outside of you as validation or a gauge when you have the answer to your own so much for joining me for this practice. Namaste. Have a great day. Bye.